Good morning, church family and our church family that's viewing online. My name is Sue Buckwalter, and I'm here to do a children's lesson. So children, gather up your parents and listen to this lesson I have for you today. Today's lesson that we're going to talk about today is how we can be thankful in any situation because of the joy God gives us. Now, I have some objects here in front of me that you can see. Um, first, I have some aloe vera. Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what does that have to do with being thankful, Miss Sue? I have some Benadryl. Again, you're probably wondering, why bring in Benadryl? And some hydrocortisone cream and some lanocaine spray. Well, all of those items help people when they get itchy. Like if you got poison ivy or poison oak, or maybe you got a bunch of mosquito bites, or maybe you had an allergic reaction to some medicine you were on and you broke out in a rash, these kind of items would help you if you got really itchy. Have you ever had a time, kiddos, when you got so itchy you just couldn't stand it? You just had to scratch and scratch and scratch. I've had that happen before and it was miserable. I itched for a couple of different days. I had my whole body covered in hives, had to take medicine and it was itching. And I just felt like I could just scratch my skin off. It was so itchy. Well, I have a story to tell you about a couple of ladies who had a very bad, painful situation happen to them. Now, the ladies I'm gonna tell you about, um, this story comes from many years ago during World War II. There was a family called the Ten Boom family. The Ten Boom family were um, people that had a room in the upstairs part of their house that they used to help hide Jewish people when the Nazis were trying to um, kill all of the Jewish people. They didn't think that it was right that the Nazis were killing the Jewish people, so they took Jewish people into their home and hid them into this small room in their house to try to help save their lives. Well, eventually the Nazis found out about this room and Corey Ten Boom and her sister Betsy, they were arrested and they were put in a prison camp because of their helping, because of the help that they gave to the Jewish people. Now the Jewish people that they had put in this hiding place, they were safe, but Corey Ten Boom and her sister Betsy were both arrested. Well, these prison camps were horrible places to have to be put. And Corey and her sister, they worked really hard all day. They made them do horrible hard work. And when they got done with all that hard work, they were given small amounts of food to eat that, were, that weren't great. And they were forced to sleep in crowded, smelly rooms. But what made those rooms even worse, not that they were just crowded and they were smelly, but they were infested with fleas. And fleas, if you know anything about them, they live on dogs and they live in, in the wild. And all they want to do is bite people. And they bite and bite and bite. And once they bite you, and they, it starts to itch. Well, Corey and her sister were covered with flea bites. And all they could do was itch all the time because of these fleas. And um, they lived in the straw on the bed where the women slept. And the itching was awful, and things were terrible for them. But Betsy reminded Corey that God could do good things through a bad situation. So they thanked God for the fleas, even though they probably weren't super thankful to be bitten up and itching. And they wondered, how could God take this terrible situation and turn it around for them? Well, each night, Corey and Betsy read the Bible aloud to the women that were in that room with them. But they had to keep someone posted at the front of the, the door to watch to make sure that none of the soldiers or none of the Nazis would come to hear them. Because if they heard those women reading from the Bible or knew that those women owned a Bible, they would have been killed immediately for owning a Bible. Well, eventually they found out that um, they weren't caught reading the Bible. The guards never ever came to their room. And guess why the guards never came to their room? You guessed it. It was because of the fleas. So because of the fleas, the guards were like, no way, we're not getting near that room. Uh-uh. And so because of these fleas, Corey Ten Boom and her sister Betsy were able to read the word of God and talk about Jesus with people that didn't know Jesus. And they were able to teach others about God's love. Now, our Bible verse for this week is, Sing and make music in your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 5, 19 and 20. 
Now, wow, that seems like a horrible situation to give thanks in. So this week, I want to challenge you to give thanks in any situation you find yourselves in. You might have great things going on in happy situations. Give thanks in those situations. But maybe some bad things have happened. Maybe you broke your arm this summer and you're stuck with a cast on your arm with this hot weather. Or maybe you have some bad boo-boos that aren't healing and it's taking a while. Who, I don't know what your situation is. But even in the bad things that happen, even us adults, we have to thank God in all things, regardless of whether we want to or not. Because God can use those bad things to make good things happen. Um, the last thing I wanted to show you was this book. It's called The Hiding Place. This is a book that Corey Ten Boom wrote after her situation, and it tells about what all they went through in the prison camps, and it talks about how they hid the Jewish people. So if you ever get a chance, have your parents tell you a little bit more about that. All right, boys and girls, take that challenge to heart this week. Bye-bye.